Hey guys, it's me. I'm back for another Eurovision 2024 reaction. Now, Albania is normally one of the first countries to decide, but we've already had France and Czechia so far this year. So, Albania, for once, you're a little bit late to the party, but I'm really looking forward to watching your entry. Now, Festival Ikunges, uh, the 62nd edition, that's insane. Uh, it's just finished, uh, and we got the FIK winner, and we got the public's choice uh, for the song they want to send to Eurovision. And that song is... Uh, Zeme Ndore, I hope I said that right, bit of an Italian accent there, I'm sorry guys, uh, and it's by Bese Kokejima. Uh, I find the Albanian language as beautiful as it is, I find it so hard to pronounce, I'm so sorry uh, if I've got that name or that song title uh, wrong, but uh, please forgive me guys, you know I'm Albanian at heart, uh, can't wait to come back to Albania one day, just waiting for you guys to win Eurovision so I can uh, come and visit your beautiful country once again. I want to be lying on a beach in Dures again, love that place. Um, but guys, I'm going to give it a watch and let you know what I think, but before we do that, please make sure you subscribe to the Eurovox YouTube channel, hit that notification bell to make sure you don't miss any of our videos, but otherwise, let's not waste any more time, let's give Best of Song a watch and I'll let you know what I think. Okay, here we go, pressing play. Zemrendore. I hope I said that right, guys. Okay, so sounds like we're getting a ballad. No big surprise there when it comes to FIK. She's beautiful though. She can't dress like the Statue of Liberty. Wow, she's like a goddess. You can already tell she's got a great voice on her. I'm just waiting for those big power notes. Hello, who are you, backing singer? Here we go for like the female vocal power ballad. Quite a catchy melody actually. This is what I love about Festival Ikunge. We get to see the live orchestra. I miss that in so many national selections. Someone needs to hook me up with this uh, with this male backing singer. They sound great as well. Is she getting emotional? So now we want somewhere completely different. We've got like kind of some like spoken word singing. Ooh. There we go, there's the lungs. This song feels like it's going in loads of different directions. We've had like, oh shame, did she just trip? This is why you shouldn't wear long tight dresses. But like I said, we've got a kind of like power ballad, we've got a bit of spoken word, it's like it almost goes into like a little bit of rap. Now we're back to power ballad and we've got that voice. It just sounds like another classy power ballad from Albania. Is she giving it everything now? Yes, yeah, you go girl. Stunning though, right? Wow, like the Albania Statue of Liberty. Uh, really, really like that nice, classy entry from Albania. My favourite Albanian entry ever? No, no, of course not. But uh, it's a path that they're used to. 
I swear I say this every year, but it's Albania. You've got a female vocalist. You're going to have an amazing voice. Where on earth do you get all these sensational female vocalists from? Albania. Not only female vocalists, actually. You've got some insane male talent as well. Um, yeah, another classy ballad from Albania. Is it groundbreaking? No. Uh, but surprising, though, because it kind of went in a few directions. I wasn't really expecting it to go. We had a bit of spoken word. It seemed like it was about to stray into rap, but it didn't quite get there. So like a real mixture of styles, but supported by this great voice. I mean, Bessa, she's got a great set of lungs on her. Uh, she's absolutely beautiful to look at. Uh, we had the whole Statue of Liberty thing going on with, with the headdress. Um, did she nearly trip up on stage, though? I've literally had the fright of my life. Um, she looked like she tripped in her heels. Um, I mean, I don't know what it's like to wear heels, guys, but it never looks easy. So uh, very professional that she uh, pulled it together. She stays standing. Um, and looked like she was getting a bit emotional halfway through the song, especially when the backing singers uh, were doing their little bit as well. So uh, yeah, good entry by Albania. By no means is it the best Albanian entry we've ever had. And I'm kind of sometimes wishing that we'll get something completely different uh, from Albania, but on the same side of the coin, you know, stick to what you do well, and they do these kinds of songs really well. We're expecting a revamp. We always get one. Obviously, we've seen a live version of the song, so uh, we'll expect a kind of a, a studio revamp. Uh, Albania, sometimes they completely uh, chop it up and, and spit out something completely different. So looking forward to seeing what they do with the revamp. In terms of staging, you're not going to need anything fancy, really. I mean, it, it's this girl and, and this great voice. Um, so uh, I imagine we're going to have red and black on stage, as we typically do with Albania. Although in this staging at FIK, they had kind of like a, a neon uh, blue and pink colour scheme, which is a colour scheme that I like. So maybe we'll see something completely different when it comes to staging for Albania this year. Is it going to win Eurovision? No. Uh, is it going to get through to the final? Yes, possibly. If she gives a belt of a performance, um, juries will uh, really like this again depending on the revamp but really looking forward to seeing uh, what we get with that but guys would love to know what you think so make sure you drop a comment down below let us know what you think of Albania's entry if you haven't seen them yet go and watch my reactions to Czechia and France as well and let me know what you think of those songs otherwise make sure you follow us on TikTok Instagram Facebook Twitter uh, and Spotify to check out the latest episode of the Eurovox podcast until the next video, guys, uh, if you celebrate, have a great Christmas. Uh, Happy New Year. Lots of love to you and your fam. And thanks for all of the support uh, over the years, uh, especially this year. Um, and I will see you soon.